I can't believe I'm standing here right now. Here is an empty house tour. I'm not gonna chat too much. We are remodeling it, so we're not gonna move in for a couple months, but I wanted to do a before tour, like before we remodel everything. So I'm just gonna jump right in. Okay, so here's the front door. So when you walk in, you see the living room. To the right is this room. They were using it as like a formal living room. It's got a pretty tall ceiling up there, and then there's a bathroom, a office, study, and then a formal dining room. So our plan for here is we definitely want to restain the floors or rip them all out. We're getting a contractor to come. We're going to see what exactly, how much everything's going to cost, but that's our ideal. We definitely want to get new baseboards and then hopefully Wayne's coating, maybe a coffered ceiling up here, which is like paneling. That's the dining room. What we also want to do is open up an arch here because it's kind of, it's like this like boxy entrance. So we wanted to open it up here and here and then also here into this living room. Now this is going to end up being a study, like a Collins like little office or something. So we're going to have that stuff in here. They did have like a fake fireplace, but I guess they took it. So Colin will probably be upset, but <laughs> yeah. And we're, we're going to get painters to paint the wood frame all white and then stain the stairs the same as the floor. We want this like white oak, really light color. This is the bathroom when you come in here. So we definitely want to redo it, get a new lamp, probably paint that white or some sort of color. Mostly everything's going to be white just because we want as much light as possible in this house. But probably a new mirror and different wallpaper, if any wallpaper, I'm not sure yet. New tile, new baseboards, all of that. This is a closet like a coat closet. Then we have this room, which was like a study, but I think we're gonna put like a couch in here and probably my YouTube lights and hopefully like maybe a TV in here, etc. when the kids are older and they're gonna want like a separate area for themselves. Um, there's a closet in here too. And the blinds came with the house and I think they're good for right now. I don't think we're gonna have to buy too many blinds, but I think we can salvage those. And I ideally want to get new fans and everything. And then this door will be painted as well. We thought about replacing all the doors into white doors. But these are nice oak wood doors. And they're very heavy inside. So they don't bounce off a lot of sound. So it's good to have these oak doors. So I don't want to buy like really cheap white doors. So this is the living room. New fan for sure. We're going to either demolish the brick or paint it white. Sorry, everything's like painted white. And then Colin wants to see, cause there is a possibility we can bump out this ceiling to make it go higher up and put two skylights because it is pretty dark. The sun sets that way, but in the morning it's really dark over here. So we wanted to lighten it up a bit and you wouldn't be going through brick. You'd be going through just the roof. So it might, be possible. Then we have this little kitchen area, put a kitchen table here, maybe like a dry bar here. And then this is the kitchen. They already have white cabinets. They did paint them, but I'm going to get a painter here and see if we should repaint them because I'm not sure if it might need to get repainted now that I'm looking at it. Um, so new backsplash, new countertops. And I was thinking about adding a, another like section here and make it a longer island because for me I feel like it's still a bit small I can just imagine like us right here we got all of our stuff here but I can only imagine it's just gonna be a lot of stuff 
So then new sink, new handles. We're keeping the appliances because they're nice. New dishwasher and then we gotta put a microwave somewhere. Colin was thinking maybe right here and get it built into this section, but we don't know. We're gonna see, think about that. So here's like an overview this way. So yeah, this wall needs something, probably like a dry bar or something. We'll see. And then this way, I'll go outside last, but that's one of my favorite places. So this way is the laundry room. They kept these two for us. I was thinking to move the cabinets over and add like a, a hanging thing here so we could dry like Colin's work shirts and stuff. And then a new sink, backsplash, probably a countertop and put these under it. I don't know. These are actually pretty high, but they're, I don't know if these are older or not so we're gonna see if we'll ever need to replace them soon this is cute that the sellers left for us and then maybe i would install like a little mud type base here then you go outside over here and there's the pool you can't really see i'll show you in a sec and then we have the garage and they left a bunch of stuff for us here like a lawnmower and stuff which is really nice and then here we have another closet. <gasps> Is this a laundry chute? No freaking way, hold on. And yeah, we definitely need to get this painted. New tile in here, new baseboards. Oh, I'm so excited. And then, and also I don't know what to do with the front door because I don't know if it's old. No, it's actually pretty decent. We'll probably just paint this, to be honest, with exterior paint. Moving on, go upstairs. Okay, so here is the master bedroom. So I'm thinking to put our bed this way, feet to the door. Feng shui, guys, you have to do it. And then probably like a couch and two seats over there or something, maybe a dresser. Got to figure something out, but I think a king bed will take a majority of this area. And then this is the bathroom. This is definitely like, they built it probably 20 years ago, so we're going to have to figure out either, I don't know if we could salvage anything, but we're going to see. New lights, demolish the bathtub area and just put a freestanding tub there. Probably new blinds, I'm not loving those, but new tile and stuff like that. So we definitely, it's kind of like a gut, like the bathroom's for sure. And then this is the closet, which is really nice. It's like a big walk-in closet, but I definitely want to get, hopefully, eventually I want to get closet shelving. And I've seen a lot of cool things on Pinterest for angled closets like this. I'll try to insert them. So I think it could be doable to make it more organized. And then here we have a linen closet, which is pretty good size. I'm happy with that. This is another bedroom. It's The color is a brown, but it's got that ceiling, a pretty good size closet. Then we have this area, which I don't know what to do with this at all. They have a bulletin board, which we'll probably take down, but a new light here. And then this shows you the front door. Um, this is another bedroom. There's two up here. Or three. For now, we're just gonna put like guest beds in there before children come. And then this is the bathroom up here. And ideally, what I would love to do is, I don't know if this is even possible, but I'd love to move the toilet here. I know this is probably like pipe dreams, but move the toilet here, get a shower here, and then a freestanding tub, because I feel like, I've, I'll insert a pic of that too, because it just makes more sense for guest bedrooms. like or guest bathrooms and the kids' baths. Like, they're not always gonna want a shower in a tub. So I'm gonna see if that's possible. And then probably paint this and salvage this and then just get a new countertop, new mirror, new lights, stuff like that. And then the outside. There is a basement and I don't know if that's even interesting to see, but I can always show the basement in another vlog or something. It's halfway done, there are parts that isn't done and there is a bathroom down there. So if people want to see it, I'll put it in another video. But then this is our backyard, which I'm so happy about. There's room for Misha and Rudy when Rudy comes to visit. And then there's cool like trees in this 
thing and then they left some pots for us the house brick is red so i mean my dream was always a white house and i don't know if we'd ever paint it but that's an option then the pool is closed for the season we have some privacy with these which i love that's like a hydrangea bush that grows really big in the summer and then this i was thinking about taking this down and just having like a day bed with two things i have a lot of dreams for this place so i'm so freaking excited to like decorate it and everything so i can't wait to start buying furniture we already bought a couch so that'll be here in like three months because that's a custom couch but and it took a while but yeah i mean that's the house i don't know what else to share all right well that's the house like i said if you want to see the basement i could show it in another one I'm so excited to remodel, so check out the new video once it's up of what we did to this house. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, sorry if it was echoey. It might have been. Bye.